Uh, my name is Alex Chidnovsky. I'm a cardiologist with the Cardiovascular Specialist of Central Maryland, and I practice at Howard County General Hospital. Diagnostic testing in cardiology is indicated for the diagnosis uh, and assessment for heart disease in a patient. This could be for uh, the assessment of a patient with cardiac symptoms or for the monitoring of a patient with already established cardiac disease. There are multiple tests that can be performed uh, to evaluate for heart disease. Uh, the most common test that we use is the ECG or electrocardiogram. Uh, the electrocardiogram test is a, a simple, non-invasive test uh, that involves assessing the electrical signature of the heart muscle. Uh, essentially, electrical uh, electrodes are placed on a patient's chest and on their limbs, and from that we see the electrical activation of the heart. Uh, this is the best test to really assess the heart rhythm, and at times can give us a clue as to whether or not there are other problems or structural abnormalities of the heart. This is a non-invasive test. It poses no risk to the patient uh, and is uh, generally uh, very easy to perform and well tolerated. It involves absolutely no preparation. Echocardiography is a more involved test of the heart. Uh, it involves the use of ultrasound uh, to image the heart muscle, the structures in and around the heart, and assists uh, cardiologists and other physicians in ascertaining the health of the heart muscle, the health of the heart valves, and to really screen for any structural abnormalities of the heart. Uh, the test itself is non-invasive. It poses really no risk to the patient uh, and involves very little, if any, preparation. Cardiac stress testing involves primarily evaluating a patient's heart for the presence of any blockages in the blood supply to the heart. It usually involves stressing uh, the patient with some sort of stressor, be that exercise or a medicine to stress the heart for patients who are unable to exercise. We couple that with imaging of the heart, usually with EKG, but at times more elaborate imaging, such as echocardiogram or nuclear medicine scans. And the combination of the information gives us a very good assessment of the blood supply to the heart muscle and to screen for blockages or interruptions in that blood supply. Cardiac catheterization is a minor surgical procedure uh, involving placing catheters or long skinny hollow plastic tubes into the heart and the structure surrounding the heart. During this procedure, uh, your cardiologist can directly visualize your heart arteries by injecting a contrast dye into those arteries and taking pictures with an x-ray camera. We also typically measure pressures in and around the heart to get a sense for how well the heart and the heart valves are functioning. A cardiac catheterization is really one of the most accurate tools we have to assess the health uh, of a heart. Cardiac catheterization is performed in the hospital in a setting called the cardiac catheterization lab, which is very similar to an operating room setting. Uh, it involves placing catheters inside uh, your arteries. So arterial access or entry into the artery is usually achieved through the leg, sometimes through the wrist. Preparation for a heart catheterization usually is very similar to preparations for other surgical procedures. It usually involves being in a fasting state or not eating or drinking after midnight the night before the procedure. It also may involve adjusting your medications, such as diabetic medications, before the procedure. And all this should be discussed in great detail uh, with your physician before undertaking the catheterization. Very similar to other surgical procedures, it usually involves preoperative blood work as well. Uh, it is an invasive procedure. It is a low-risk procedure with the incidence of a major complication being well less than 1%. Uh, but certain complications can arise that are very serious, uh, including but not limited to a stroke or even precipitating a heart attack. A catheterization is a very serious procedure, and it should only be done for the strongest of indications and in close consultation with your cardiologist. Here at Howard County General Hospital, we do have an elective cardiac catheterization program where uh, patients can come in and get their cardiac catheterizations. Uh, under emergency circumstances, like uh, during a heart attack, patients can get emergency angioplasty as well. Routinely, angioplasties are not done at Howard County General Hospital. 
In recent years, certain other cardiac imaging modalities have uh, become more popular and have gained more and more usefulness in clinical practice. Among those are cardiac CAT scans and cardiac MRIs. Uh, these are more advanced studies to look at the structure of the heart muscle and also to uh, perhaps screen for coronary artery disease without the use of a heart catheterization. Oftentimes, prior to a cardiac MRI or a cardiac CT scan, your doctor may prescribe a medication such as a beta blocker to slow your heart rate down. Much of the image acquisition during cardiac CT and MRI is done during just one heartbeat. and It's very important to have your heart rate as slow as possible. For that reason, your doctor will likely prescribe medications to slow your heart rate down before these procedures are done.